wanted to get to your top line on the uh, rest of the non discretion or rest of the discretionary budget if you're not going to touch veterans benefits you need to slice about 12 percent off of the rest of government can you do that without affecting the services that government provides for the American? Sure, and that's part of what this process is this week okay what we're doing the numbers go out and the numbers each agency will get its top line number along with recommendations from OMB as to how we think they can hit that number. And they may come back to us and say, yeah, we think that's a, that's a good way to reach that number. Or they may come back to us or come back to us with other suggestions. That's what this process is. I think it's fairly unusual for us to be coming to you this early in the process, uh, but we want to let everybody know exactly where we were. But we're not talking about 2 or 3 percent. I mean, we're talking about double-digit reductions, so that's a lot. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of programs that, again, you can expect to see exactly what the president said he was going to do. Foreign aid, for example. The president said we're going to spend less money overseas and spend more of it here. That's going to be reflected in the number we sent to the State Department. Thank you very much. Um, one quick follow on foreign aid. That accounts for less than 1% of overall spending. And I just spoke with an analyst who said even if you zeroed that out, it wouldn't pay for one year of uh, some of the budget increases that are being proposed right now. So, how do you square that? And also, why not tackle entitlements, which are the biggest drivers, especially when a lot of Republicans over the years have said that they need to be taxed? Sure. Uh, on, on your foreign aid, it's the same answer I just gave, which is, yes, it's a fairly small part of the discretionary budget, but it's still consistent with what the president said. When you see these reductions, you'll be able to tie it back to a speech the president gave or something the president has said previously. He's simply going to, we are taking his words and turning them into policies and dollars. So we will be spending less overseas and spending more back home. Um, I forgot your second question. On entitlements. entitlements. Why yeah, not address like, entitlements, which um, is the biggest driver? Very spending. unusual to, uh, this is a budget blueprint, what some folks used to call a skinny budget, um, and it would not be at all unusual for larger policy decisions, including tax reform revenue projections not to be included in this budget. That will come Direct in. Down, on down, rebuilding the, down the line, Hold on, so down the line, could we see some type of... A full budget would contain the, 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 the entire spectrum of the, of the president's proposed policy changes. Director, yes, on rebuilding the military, can you talk a little about, about more of the breakdown of that? Can you go into a little bit more? No, I can't, because again, the, the, where we are in this process is that the number is going to the DOD today, and over the course of the next 10, to, 10 days to two weeks, we'll be coming up with those types of details. Right. i got time for one more. Yes, sir. You'll be asking the military, uh, you're going to increase the military budget, but you're going to at least ask the people in the Defense Department to take a look at their budget and say, hey, where can we at least cut or at least look and make sure that we're spending the right amount of money? Absolutely. Part of that is going to be in part of the process? Well, absolutely. That's part of what uh, Secretary Madison and I have already talked. He's interested in driving more efficiencies into uh, the, uh, the Defense Department. OMB is also going to be involved with him on the procurement process. All of that uh, will be incorporated in our larger budget in May. So it's not just like a blank here we're going to throw money at you do what you no, want sir. to no sir last one does this account for spending for the president's wall either in the 30 billion dollars you've heard or you're going to request for this year or the 54 billion dollar increase does that include money for the wall how to pay for the wall yeah it'd be more likely excuse me a little bit of both we will uh, we do expect to include some money in a future supplemental for 2017 for the wall and the 2018 budget will also con contain some longer term dollars so for that i believe that's going to be the case thank you all very much